assalamu alaikum uh, it's a three o'clock short so let's uh, start our discussion i hope uh, you can hear me uh, if there is any problem in sound then please let me know uh, umar naseem or anyone can tell me if uh, both my sound and slides are properly visible yes sir your sound okay. and presentation is visible okay awesome great so let's move ahead uh, bismillahir rahmanir rahim today i'm going to talk about uh, chat gpt that is a new era of uh, programming how it is going to change our world so let's find out and discuss pros and cons of this br breakthrough large language model okay so this particular uh, presentation is uh, prepared by me and with the help of uh, chat gpt who is the co-author so let's see how it works and i'll be giving you uh, some tips for uh, excelling in this area which is just excelling right now okay so uh, today's talk will have introduction to chat gpt uses of uh, various applications and then there is uh, code red from google okay so it's not good code red it's google code red and uh, microsoft is investing a lot for this venture which is chat gpt then we shall talk about potential uses of chat gpt in industry and i'm saying potential why because there could be many many uses which are possible but some of them are like this and then potential uses of uh, miss gpt like any other invention there are always possible to have misuses of this and what to do next now this is a technology which has already arrived it is not going to vanish in near future so let's build on the top of that and in the last 20 minutes we will have debates we will take questions and we will brainstorm how to get maximum how to maximize the profit out of chat gpt and how to minimize the cons and the misuses of chat gpt in our for our students for our teaching for our country for our nation for the entire humanity so introduction over here uh, when we are talking about chat gpt chat gpt is a large language model by open ai open ai is a very famous company that uh, was formed uh, uh some 8 uh, years ago and then when microsoft saw the potential in open ai they pushed something like 1 billion dollar investment in this so uh in it uses chat gpt uses transformer architecture which is a type of uh, neural network well suited for natural language processing tasks etc so my phd student kurat lain who is sitting here she is also using uh, this uh, transformer architecture of deep learning for the forecasting in the smart grids so this is a really good architecture uh, proposed back in 2017 by google researchers then chat gpt over here uh we will talk about uh, chat gpt stand for generative pre trained transformers so these are the conversational models which are generative it generates the things whenever you give him any prompt and then these are pre trained this is pre trained till december 2021 if you will talk about who is the prime minister of pakistan today uh, they will not be able to tell you chat gpt so that is a good thing i feel and this is uh, using the transformer architecture that i shall tell you later trained on massive data sets till uh, december of 2021 it can generate human text in many different uh, contexts so you give the context and it is ready to give you and uh, the fun fact is that the market valuation of open ai jumped from 14 billion dollars to 29 billion dollars in last 3 weeks so i am just talking about uh, at the start of this year on the 1st of january it was worth 14 billion dollar and now it is more than double 
so uh, doubling the money and uh, one can also invest for the stock of chat gpt and open ai anyways uh, chat gpt is open source uh, it can easily be integrated into various applications okay uh, you can go to the website of chat gpt and then they provide you apis for that and it can be easily integrated uh, it is most advanced ai language model uh, Microsoft invested uh, one billion dollar in OpenAI and is going to integrate ChatGPT in Bing Search. They are planning to do it uh, in March, like two months from now, so that you are not. If you are searching for something, like if you are searching for the best thesis writer, then you are not getting the links. Rather, you are getting the responses. So and the meaningful responses. So those are the things which are really important. And then expectations of uh, meaningful answer to our question instead of links of website. So that is something really amazing. If at all you are having any problem, uh, just write it. You don't get websites, you get the answer. OK, for example, uh, last week I was a little bit tense and I write on chat GPT. I am a little bit tense and the response was, well, it's good to be a little bit tense it helps you to focus on one task however it is not good to remain tense for longer period of time if you remain tense for longer period of time then do the following go for the regular exercise go for meditation like prayer or yoga go for having different type of hobbies etc so it gave me a list of things to do and said if still you remain tense even after doing that, go and consult some good psychologist. So that was wonderful. I mean, that is one of the example, but it's uh, I am using it for the sake of fun as well. Initially, I was using it for research, but now I'm using it for the sake of fun. And uh, Google, now AI is really on the rise. Why? Because one can see the potential which is there. And uh, over here, uh, Google acquired DeepMind back in 2019 to integrate AI into search to get the meaningful results of whatever you are searching for. So Google right now uh, in January, uh, they should code red to their employees to defeat chat GPT. Why? Because there are on the average, there is 1 million user who is using chat GPT every day okay so that is huge i mean there is a lot of traffic which is going towards chat gpt and google is in worry that if Bing is going to integrate this meaningful search which is not looking for the words rather it is going for the meaning of that thing so then Bing could win the competition of this search market which is billion dollar enterprise uh, I just share with you that some of my research students, they come to me, MS research students, they ask, sir, um, I searched for uh, the data analytics, I searched smart grid, I entered data analytics, I entered attention layer, but I did not get the paper you got. So what are the entries? What are the keywords I should put? Okay, so they are, why? Because the search is not meaningful. Google is just indexing all the words and then they are giving you the websites which are the most clicked. So inshallah, we'll be uh, watching this era as a very uh, type old era, 10 years from now, when we were looking for the words, not for the meaning. So we are basically converting from syntax search to semantic search, okay? Now, a healthy competition is expected, bringing the fruitful results for the customers. Now, some of the uses of uh, chat GPT in natural language processing, it can be used as chatbots. So chatbot, uh, it, chat GPT can be used to generate human-like responses in conversations, making it a powerful tool for creating conversational agents. So uh, not only this, but I would like to ask you that ask ChatGPT 
write a poem for my friend Slahuddin, who is very intelligent and hard work, hard working, and it will write the entire poem. And then you say, well, it's not that good. You say, write it in the style of Shakespeare, and it will change that style to Shakespeare. Then for language translation, it can be fine tuned for language translation task as well. So I have written. Uh, I am an old poet as well. I have done. I tried to do some poetry. But I thought that I have not done poetry. That people will do with me what I am doing with poetry. So anyways, I have written some poems as well. English poems for Sir Majid Makbul, who is a very passionate teacher. And Urdu poem for some of my friends who are very kind to me. And I have shared it with my friends. So all you have to do is just tell them that uh, Sir Umar is very dedicated teacher and he's very kind person and passionate learning uh, learner. Write a poem in Roman Urdu. You will get all the poem written in Roman Urdu. You copy paste it into Roman Urdu to Urdu converter. You will get a good poem in Nastalik. And then that's it. You forward it to Sir Umar. That sir, I have written wonderful poem for you. OK, so that is the writer. Uh, by the way, I have written, I've got projects from my computer science students. And uh, if I say 90% of them use chat GPT somehow or the other. Uh, then uh, we can use it for text summarization. If uh, other day I was telling now, Adnan, if you are having this much text, if you want to summarize it in few lines, two or three lines, just ask summarize the following text in two lines, and it will do all the things, putting it into two lines, whatever you want. So these are some uses in natural language. Then in programming, you can do wonders. Okay. Now, gone are the days when we were sitting for on the C++ code, and we were looking for an error which was a missing braces and then there were 49 errors and we were spending something like 24 hours to debug one error. So right now you can ask write code for Arima. Wow, here you go in Python. Then you ask write code for LSTM. It will write that and then you say. Take a time series, OK, and then. Uh, use the Arima on that time series. Once the outcome comes, then use LSTM. It will use that. However, sometimes you will get the output a little bit wrong. Then you have to work on that. It is not perfect, but it helps you to avoid all those things. Now, as there are many, many uses, when we are talking about the code generation, it, there are misuses as well. For Every good thing, there is a bad thing attached to that. So the first misuse is. Uh, uh, cheating chat GPT can use generative answer for programming assignments which are not detectable by turn it in. I tried it. And I miserably failed on 40 assignments. Uh, OK. And uh, however, there is a software from Stanford which is called Chat GPT Zero. It claims that it is able to detect whether this is written by Chat GPT or not. So, but it is uh, the correctness of that the Chat Chat GPT is not more than forty percent. Uh, then misrepresentation of skills by candidate. Being a candidate, you can always write that. Hey, this is the program written by me. Hire me. OK, but the program would be written by chat GPT. Or you can. They give you a program that write the code. You are opening. You are having a window and you ask chat GPT to write the code for you. Then you improve it a little bit. Then you give it to the interviewer who is sitting in Silicon Valley, USA. So that is misrepresentation of skills by candidate. That is even uh, more chances which are there. So we have to utilize this particular thing 
uh, we have to accept this reality and then we have to build on the top of that. And uh, then we are having misuses of uh, resources. Chat GPT can be used to generate code that can be used to perform actions which are not allowed, for example, scrapping from a website. You can ask it, write code in this language and it will do it. Previously it was difficult, but right now it has become very easy. Now, yes. Uh, okay, uh, yes, go ahead if there is any question. Okay, good question. So the question is whether it is limited to uh, some programming languages or uh, any programming language. So uh, we tried it on at least 10 different programming languages. Okay, that includes all the way from C, C++ to Perl, Ruby and Julia. Okay, and in all the languages it produced the thing. Why? Because it know what is the program for writing factorial. All it does, then it swaps the commands. That for printing, uh, C++ use printf, scanf, whatever the command is, and then uh, what Ruby is doing for that. So then it swaps the command. Yes, oh, so we can maybe we can have more details at the end as well. So the general answer to this question is yes, you can have multiple languages and people tried it for the languages which are just coming and they were very astonished that language which is only there, only few hundred people know those language. Still, they can write code for that. Why? Because back in 2021, if the company say uh, Microsoft released some documentation of a language along with the language, then chat GPT read that language documentation and after that they can quote from there. So they get the ideas from Python, they get the syntax of that language from the documentation and then they are generating the code. So that is a wonderful thing. Okay, now Thinking loud. Uh, if uh, uh, till here, if there's any question from the audience, I would request if you can type over here uh, and I would be answering that. I want to have it. Uh, if there's any question, you can uh, write it in the chat box. And yes, any question? Okay. Fine, OK, so these are the things which are there. Now, thinking out loud, uh, chat GPT and AI tools can take uh, life forms to Mars, which is a dream of Elon Musk, and they are going very successful in that. And Andromeda, uh, what is Andromeda? Yeah, it is nearby galaxy. It's just our galaxy. We are living in the Milky Way. And this is just our neighbor, neighborhood, Andromeda, okay? Just uh, 300 years light, light years away. Not a big distance. <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, we are going to Mars. And if we are successful in that, then inshallah, we can plan for Andromeda and other galaxies as well, okay? However, going to Mars is not an easier task. And I feel that such type of AI tools are going to help for uh, going to those places. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, some questions from the audience so I can see some raised hand. Okay, so just a second. 
Uh, yes, so Dr. Mazam Fraz is just... here. I'm going to uh, listen to him. Yes, Dr. Mazam Fraz, please, your comments. Sir, it's a GPT seminar. Thank you, sir, for a very so informative talk. Uh, I just want you to uh, rather request you to uh, comment on how chat GPT can be used in designing design in software design. Uh, from your talk, we uh, come to know that it is helpful in writing code, but uh, on the design perspective, what are your thoughts? Uh, OK, uh, um, wonderful uh, thing. So uh, uh, this is something that we can use for uh, writing the entire uh, software. OK, so the architecture will go in a way that we are going to ask for the software requirement. And the software requirement will be taken from the client. And then we have to come up with the architecture. And for that, chat GPT is going to help us providing various options. Once we finalize this thing, then we have to generate the instruction sets. And after instruction set, chat GPT is again very good at uh, writing all the subroutines and all the programs which are to be used. And then once it is done, then people, they can uh, use this thing and uh, use those routines and compile it into a bigger program and optimize it further. And once that is optimized, then that particular software can be given to clients free of cost. However, you can ask that, well, we have given this software to EE department. However, if you want to optimize it, or you want to customize it, or you want to get the source code for this, uh, please give us $10. So with $10, that would be really good. And uh, we have uh, submitted a research paper with Dr. Mozam Faraz and uh, Khuram Shahzad uh, on this, which is uh, automated uh, software uh, generation using large language models. And this paper is available on archive. I shall be sharing the link with you as well. So the bottom line is that we can accelerate our uh, our uh, uh, our software making things okay and moreover also i am working on another project with dr amal tarik where a company assigned us a task for the creation of slides for k12 students primary se lekar बारहवीं जमात तक के जो स्टूडेंट होते हैं उनके लिए कंटेंट जनरेट करें एंड मजे की बात ये कि व्हेन वी गिव देम वी आस देम राइट अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमंस फॉर अंडरग्रेड स्टूडेंट्स इट हैज जनरेटेड डिफरेंट कंटेंट्स चैट जीपीटी एंड व्हेन वी आस राइट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन काइंड फॉर द फिफ्थ ग्रेड स्टूडेंट्स इट राइट द कॉन्टेंट विच आर मोर सिंपल एंड मोर अपीलिंग फॉर द किड्स so you give the context you give the target audience and you can it can generate the content slides for you so for all the teachers if you are making slides previously it was taking something like one day for me now it takes something like one hour so okay and uh, this is just the beginning of the uses uh, similarly if umar naseem is working on the graphics and Urdu app designing, then Umar Naseem can get the Unity code uh, written by Chat GPT and they can use it for the faster acceleration of such uh, softwares. Yes, uh, any other question, any observation from the online audience? If there is any, you can type it or you can raise your hand. Uh, yes, Hamza, we are listening to you. That's all, sir. Uh, sorry, I, I think that the chat is uh, disabled. Um, can you briefly uh, explain what kind, what is the nature of the dataset? Usually, 
in neural networks we the, the models are targeted towards one application but i have used chat gpt it seems like it works for various side kind of application so how does it does that um, I, i'm interested in knowing briefly how that model works and what kind of the data set is used to train it okay good question so that is uh, talking more about the technical aspect of uh, transformer okay so for that i would uh, encourage you to read a paper uh, which is a really fantastic paper its uh, name is attention is all we need that is by the google right. researchers published in 2017 that in that paper hamza they give you the idea of this transformer architecture without going into too much detail i just bring if you that in this thing there are three things there is like encoder encoder is something that read the text for you reading the text is uh, generate slide uh, course outline for algorithm okay now that thing encoder how it works so its first phase is again scanner it reads the thing and it converts it into tokens once tokens are done then the next phase is parser parser it tries to understand how the grammar is working okay so we use context free grammar on the top of that and then the third phase which semantic analysis you try to look for without looking at the words you try to understand the meaning of that so this is how encoder works and then thing goes to uh, something which is called intermediate representation intermediate the good example of intermediate representation of uh, that the code bytes used in java and python so that code bytes the beauty of code bytes is that it is independent of the front end of a compiler and the back end of the compiler and then you use over there all this uh, nlp things you try to see what was the question and what was the answer okay and then you those things those ideas are also saved over there and once you collect the idea then again you use the decoder to reach over there so this is uh, the bigger picture if uh, there is uh, any other further detail i would encourage you to read the paper paper uh, attention is all we need by google researchers okay. published in ieee conference 2017 yes if there is any question oh. from oh. online audience uh, yes uh, ali afridi please go ahead uh, assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam uh, my question that uh, transformers have like surpassed the recurrent neural networks uh, like because recurrent neural networks were also being used in the natural language processing so like what was the limitation for the recurrent neural networks like how was transformer a bit unique in the way to accomplish the task of understanding meaning or the context of a language okay so recurrent neural network uh, those are basically not using the thing which is called attention it is more like the focus we give to something for example if i have to focus on the problem that there is something over here i am just giving you analogy okay if there is something which is uh, pinching my finger over here so i will try to focus on this thing without having other thing so i am going for the attention over here so that is uh, the generic idea behind that and again the details are uh, there in uh, attention paper yes any other general okay. question thank you and uh, ali afridi uh, then there is also discord discord server uh, if you go to the website i would encourage you for all the enthusiasts who are uh, looking for uh, the things how we can improve on that so there is uh, a discord server so i am having this thing with me, me over here i use this discord server over here uh, it is uh, over here open ai okay so this is the discord server of open ai and it has multiple forums 
announcement, general game development, arts, and so on. So there are our forums, technical things that you can find on the Discord server quite easily. So this is the forum. One can join easily even today. And this is uh, you have the uh, open AI. This is a Discord server a space for developers and enthusiasts to collaborate and share creation built with open AI powerful models. So this is uh, Ali Afridi. This is maybe the best place where you can go and you can look for the ideas which are related to the recurrent neural ne network or you are using the uh, deep learning model or you are using some other technologies for other purposes. So you can always join the sub forums. Yes, uh, Ashit, if there are any comments or question. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Professor Fay. I would like to uh, add the Ali Afridi, I mean, answer the Ali Afridi address. He asked about what are the limitations of recurrent neural network and transformer. So I think <clears throat> RNN are mostly based on, you can say that timestamp base. For example, if one word is occurring or coming with respect to other words, so he can train the model. But transformer gives more attention to the words, I mean, they are trained on billions of parameters, so it can easily generate any topic or answer any query which has been already addressed by the transformer. So I think this is the limitation. And I would like to ask that, Professor, you have uh, addressed that there are many pros. Definitely you will come to the cons, but don't you think that, I mean, you said that the transformer, chat GPT can write code, this is many beneficial and it will like change the era. But do you think that it will be a major drawback for the university students or even for professor? I mean, student can write assignments by asking the chat GPT to solve this particular question or scenario and the plagiarism detection won't able to pick it. So what's your thought on it? Thank you. OK, wonderful question, uh, Ashir. So uh, Ashir, question is very profound whether this tool will make our students lazy. They will not write the code and then they will relax. OK, so the same question arises. Back in 1940s, I'd say. The Kriban Nave Sal Pele. Jab Second World War ke around the area is my Richard Feynman come a part of that to Richard Feynman was saying you saw the log both the other. Emphasize that they take up logarithm per day. Take it up. Look, I'm sick. It's a logo. Ne logarithm per you. Yeah, could be metric. Me FSC me. But you know, he get a. Kidney logo ko is the mall. Can make a mocha me like a real life me. Real problem ko logarithm. They solve current. G. A. Can go. He go. Yeah, this come at the back. A. A. Gino logo. Ne per you. Yeah. वो लोग भी लॉगरिथम को इस्तेमाल नहीं कर रहे तो लॉगरिथम का बेसिकली उस जमाने में जब हमारे पास साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर और कंप्यूटर नहीं थे उसका फायदा यह था कि आप जो भी मल्टीप्लिकेशन बड़े-बड़े नंबर होते थे लाइक एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल नंबर्स बिलियंस एंड ट्रिलियंस ऑफ दिस एंड बिलियंस एंड ट्रिलियंस ऑफ दिस यू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू लॉगरिथम तो इवेंचुअली जो एंडोमेडा का यहां से फासला फॉर एग्जांपल 3 ट्रिलियन 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 uh, kilometers tha, wo only 10 raised to power uh, 24 oh yeah kilometers that's it so logarithm mein 10 raised to power 24 is nothing but 24 right to suraj kitne faasle pe so you say 13 chand kitne faasle pe you say 8 so that is the thing so the point is ki kya calculators ke aane se humare student lethargic ho gaye ya humare students ki efficiency mein kami aayi hai efficiency may increase we yeah so can anyone uh, from the online audience can answer this thing ke calculator ke aane se humare students lethargic hue hain ya unki efficiency increase hui hai yes sir definitely efficiency increase hui hai bilkul theek ho gaya to uh, efficiency these are the things which are there to increase our efficiency right so, this is a very good thing. One is that the first programmable, reprogrammable machine thi, that was Jacquard Loom. Jacquard Loom was 
created by a scientist called Jacquard in the in the city of Lyon in France. So he invented that thing back in 17th century, around 17th century, and then he gave demo to uh, the public demo of that machine. How you can automatically produce carpets without human intervention. So when he gave this particular demo, to kya hua? Ke jaise hi wo bahar nikla, mazdooron ne usko pakda, usse utha ke river son saath mein baitha to usme phenk diya. Kyunki ye agar iski ye invention aa gayi, to ham saare berozgar ho jayenge. To tarikh ne dekha ke wo berozgar nahi huye, balki unko aur kamon pe laga diya gaya. Kya ap khety badi kare, ap baaki ye kare. Uske baad jab tractor aaya, again question raise hua. कि हमारे सारे किसान बेरोजगार हो जाएंगे बेरोजगार नहीं हुए और जगहों पे चले गए और हमारी प्रोडक्शन जो थी वो बढ़ गई ठीक है उसके बाद गिव एनी नेम ऑफ एनी टेक्नोलॉजी कंप्यूटर जब आए तो मेरे वाले साहब काफी परेशान थे क्योंकि वो हेड क्लर्क थे तो कहते थे बेटा हमारी जो स्किल सेट है एक शॉर्ट हैंड है हम अपने बॉस से जब चीज लेते हैं लाइक पूछते हैं तो शॉर्ट हैंड में नोट करते हैं फिर उसको टाइप करते हैं तो टेन टाइपिस्ट हैं जो मेरे अंडर काम कर रहे हैं ठीक है तो जैसे ही कंप्यूटर आया तो कंप्यूटर के बारे में तो सुना कि एक कंप्यूटर को रख दें तो सारी एप्लीकेशंस भी जनरेट करके दे देता है आप नाम चेंज करें और 400 स्टूडेंट्स के लिए एप्लीकेशन प्रिंट हो जाती है तो आपको टाइप करने की जरूरत नहीं बच्चा ये सारे लोग बेरोजगार हो जाएंगे तो क्या वो रोज आजकल आपको बेरोजगार टाइप नजर आ रहे नहीं है ना so we will use our energies to other forums as well. Yes, Dr. Shahzad Yunus is there. Uh, sir, listening to you. Assalamu alaikum ji. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, though I have posted my question on chat, but I'll, I'll repeat it again. Uh, well, my concern is about uh, one, uh, maybe uh, first, maybe if you can just talk about the kind of data sets OpenAI has used to train their model for chat GPT. And uh, the second thing is, uh, you know, the country like ours where the data is not, you know, much publicly available, the scarcity of data. So how the system is going to be biased when giving us the opinion about certain issues, or certain, you know, topics. Because most of the data, I, I suppose they are taking from uh, you know, the first world countries are where you know, the data is publicly more available. So how uh, we can face a biasness of information, you know, especially where um, we are sitting uh, is such very scarcity of data uh, is around us. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Shizad. Uh, that is a wonderful question. Okay, that is uh, about any idea what kind of data set OpenAI utilize for training GPT system and how the uh, side data from third world countries can bias the opinion we can get from the platform. Okay, so I'll ask first question to Dr. Shahzad uh, Yunus, uh, sir. My first question is, and the only question, can you, we are all biased in our opinions. Okay, uh, either they are uh, our life opinion, they are our political opinion, our religious opinion, our scientific opinions, our opinion about research, our opinion about teaching. So those are all biased by the group of people we are sitting around. So first of all, um, sir, my first question as since this is a debate, can you name any of a single news reporter of Pakistan who is perfectly unbiased reporter? Well, I, I can understand your concern, but you know, for me as a researcher, maybe I just want to, maybe I want to have, get unbiased decision. You know, most of the time in AI, uh, we, uh, Dr. Bozum is here, you know, other AI researchers are here as, as well. You know, we, we would like to have as little biasness as possible in our, you know, final decision because, you know, the final implementation of the decision or the opinion is going to happen in all, our own, you know, locality. So we cannot, you know, get a opinion from which is, you know, applicable to the first world country because I suppose the information, mostly the information is coming from there. Uh, and then if I am going to implement that particular, you know, decision 
in our own environment so there would be a big mismatch between you know what i am getting as a decision from the platform and where i am going to implement my decisions so i mean i i understand you know we we are all biased by by our environment we we live in but still you know maybe i don't know this is a thing yeah, this is maybe a the, the, really the fantastic uh, concern how we can make the opinion unbiased from chat gpt and the future site type of tools so any opinion uh, from dr muazzam or anyone who is having interest so please it's up to the audience dr umar would you like to add so something bias to dekho aapki baat bilkul sahi hai ki koi bhi insaan ya koi bhi cheez unbiased ho nahi sakti na kyunki aap environment se matter karta hai आपके सवाल सुन ही सका था लेकिन जहाँ तक उसके आंसर पे बात हो रही थी सर डॉक्टर साहब ने बहुत अच्छी बात की आप इवन साइंटिफिक या कहीं भी आप बात कर लें तो इंसान अपने बायस से नहीं निकल सकते ये तो एक बड़ी हकीकत है आप जिस इन्वायरमेंट में ग्रो करते हैं जिस तरह के हालात आपके इर्द गिर्द होते हैं दैट शेप ऑफ योर ओपिनियन अब वो सही है या गलत है और साइंस में तो चले किसी हद तक फिर एक्सपेरिमेंट से बात पता चल जाती है लेकिन फिर और बहुत से जो अलूम हैं उनमें हतमी बात कोई भी नहीं कर सकता ये हमेशा एक फैक्ट रहेगा तो बिल्कुल वो मेरे ख्याल से इस सॉफ्टवेयर के लिहाज से भी यही प्रॉब्लम मतलब ये प्रॉब्लम क्या है जो इंसान की चीज़ है वही आगे कंटिन्यू करेगी आ, मेरे कुछ बुनियादी इस सवाल थे वो आ, मैं ऑब्वियसली मैं इस वजह से आया था मैं सुन शायद आप हमें कुछ ट्रेन भी करेंगे कि इसको यूज़ किस तरह करना है क्योंकि मैं वाकई यूज़ करना चाहता हूँ और मैं फुली अग्री सर आपने बड़ी अच्छी तरह बात क्लियर किया मैं इसके आपके उस लेक्चर से आने से पहले तक आई वॉज लिटल अगेंस्ट दिस सॉफ्टवेयर एंड आई थाट के ये शायद कोई बहुत अच्छी चीज़ नहीं है लेकिन आपने एक एग्जांपल जैसा लॉगरिथमिक स्केल की पहले दी और आप कैलकुलेटर की दी और दूसरी आपने एग्जांपल दी थी टाइप राइटर वाली भी और ट्रैक्टर वाली भी ठीक है ना लेकिन मेरे ख्याल से शायद हर एग्जांपल को वी कैन नॉट मेक आई मीन लीगली वो शायद हम नहीं कर सकते वी आर कमिंग टू अ वर्ल्ड जिसमें देखें यूट्यूब आ गया इंटरनेट आ गया मोबाइल फ़ोन मेरे पास है ये मोबाइल फ़ोन इतनी अच्छी चीज़ है कि मैंने किसी से भी कनेक्ट होना है मुझे अपने बच्चे का भी पता है मैंने अभी यहाँ घर निकलना है तो मैं सबसे पहले गूगल मैप देखता हूँ मुझे पता चलता है कि आज कौन सा रास्ता बेहतर है अगर ट्रैफिक जाम है तो थोड़ी देर ऑफिस बैठ जाता हूँ लेकिन आई सी के नाउ एज रिस्पेक्ट टू जब मेरे पास मोबाइल फ़ोन नहीं था अब मैं कम पढ़ता हूँ किताबें मैं कम पढ़ता हूँ ठीक है जी जबकि मुझे तो ज़्यादा पढ़नी चाहिए थी क्योंकि चीज़ें आ गई हैं तो उस चीज़ ने मेरे जहन को इफेक्ट किया इस मोबाइल फ़ोन ने नेगेटिवली भी मेरी चीज़ों को इफेक्ट किया मेरी सोशल लाइफ को भी नेगेटिवली इफेक्ट किया है मेरे रिलेशनशिप्स को भी नेगेटिवली इफेक्ट किया है तो जरूरी नहीं कि हर जो टेक्नोलॉजी है उसका एक पॉजिटिव इफेक्ट हो नाउ कमिंग टू दिस चैट जीपीटी आपने सब बताया कि ऑब्वियसली ग्लोबल मार्केट को इसने इतना बढ़ा दिया है क्योंकि हम एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट में तो मेरा बुनियादी सवाल यह है कि क्या ये चीज़ हमें हेल्प करेगी मतलब मैं तो इस डिबेट को देखना चाहता हूँ कि हमारा मकसद क्या यानी इंसान अब चले पहले क्रिएटिविटी की तरफ जाते हैं इंसान का क्या काम है आपने बात की थी कि शायरी की हम उसे कहेंगे कि वो जी एक अच्छी सी शायरी लिख ले तो वो क्या करेगा uh, यही बेस्ड है तो ऑब्वियसली मैं इसका कोई ज़्यादा नहीं जानता लेकिन वो बहुत लार्ज डेटा सेट से देखकर ट्रेंड्स को देख के कोई चीज़ बनाएगा ना लेकिन इंसान के जहन की वसत यह है कि वो uh, उसका कोई एंड नहीं है क्रिएटिविटी के लिहाज से आप शायद uh, आज शायरी करें तो ए को देख कर आपके जहन में कोई शेयर आ जाए और हो सकता है ये ए शायरी के दुमेन में उसके डेटा सेट में मौजूद ही ना हो ठीक है जी तो आ, क्या उस लेवल के ऊपर एक वाकई जो अच्छा शायर होगा तो क्या ये गालिब जैसी शायरी हमें दे सकेगा या नहीं ये चले गालिब जैसी दे दे या कि उससे अच्छी शायरी दे सकेगा कि नहीं दिस इज़ वन क्वेश्चन नाउ कमिंग टू इट्स नेगेटिव साइड जो मैं शायद यहाँ सवाल या डिबेट ओपन करना चाह रहा था वो ये था कि हम एकेडीमिया में हम लिखते क्यों हैं क्यों लिखते हैं क्योंकि मतलब मेरी जो अंडरस्टैंडिंग है मैं गलत हम कोई चीज़ बयान करना चाहते हैं ना मैंने कुछ सीखा है साइंस में तो मैं उसको उसकी जबान जो मैथ है उसमें मैं समझाने की कोशिश करता हूँ इसके लिए फिर मैं लिखता हूँ ठीक है आइडिया बिल्कुल अपने ख्याल को मैं दूसरों तक पहुँचाने की कोशिश करता हूँ कोई वाक्य बयान करता हूँ कोई भी चीज़ दूसरे तक लिखता हूँ अगर उसको कोई भी ना पढ़े तो मेरे लिखने का फ़ायदा नहीं होगा 
ठीक है कोई बड़ी दकीक किस्म का मैंने पहलू है वो उजागर किया है निकाला है उसको बहुत कम लोगों ने पढ़ा और सरसरी पढ़ा है और सही तरह से समझा नहीं तो मेरे जो मकसद था वो पूरा नहीं हुआ ठीक है अच्छा लोग पढ़ते क्यों हैं जब मैंने भी चीज लिखी तो ये बात याद रखें मेरा बच्चा भी वो पहले एबीसी सीखेगा फिर सेंटेंस फिर बहुत सी चीजें पढ़ेगा फिर एक लेवल पर आएगा जहां वो कोई अपने ख्याल को भी दे सकेगा इम्पॉसिबल है कि पहले दिन वो दे सके ठीक है यानी मैंने भी आप माशाल्लाह जो रिसर्च करते हैं वो पहले दिन तो नहीं बहुत से लोगों के चीज को पढ़कर फिर हम अपने को इसमें राय दे देते हैं और उसके ऊपर कोशिश करते हैं कि वो मुख्तलिफ हो तो छप भी जाए और फिर लोग बात करें लेकिन अगर उसको कोई पढ़े ही ना तो उस राय अगर बहुत अच्छी भी राय होगी तो गायब हो जाएगी उसका कोई फायदा नहीं होगा तो अगर इन दो एंड्स को मद्देनजर रखते दोबारा चैट जीपीटी को अपने एजुकेशन डोमेन में देखें तो मुझे लग रहा है कि जहां इस टेक्नोलॉजी का वाकई फायदा शायद का मार्क्स पहुंच जाएंगे ये होगा और बहुत से काम को हमारे आसान कर देगा बिल्कुल जिस तरह देखें ना जब प्रिंटिंग प्रेस आया था तो कई लोगों ने उसकी अपोजिशन की लेकिन दैट वॉज अ बिग रेवोल्यूशन आई वुड से इंटरनेट से पहले यानी व्हील बना एक दैट वॉज अ मेजर लीप फॉरवर्ड प्रिंटिंग प्रेस वॉज अनदर मेजर लीप फॉरवर्ड इन ह्यूमैनिटी या ह्यूमन जो रेस आगे बढ़ी है हो सकता है ये भी एक बड़ी अहम चीज हो लेकिन इसने करना क्या इसने कुछ लिखना है और वो लिखना है किसके लिए इंसान के लिए लिखना ठीक है और कुछ एक्सप्रेस करने के लिए लिखना तो वो एक्सप्रेस मशीन करेगी क्या मशीन ख्याल ला सकती है अगर आप अपने ख्याल को उसके जरिए पॉलिश करना चाह रहे हैं इसका मतलब तो आप लिखने में नहीं अच्छे ठीक है तो चलो आप उसकी एक हेल्प ले लें लेकिन आहिस्ता आहिस्ता जब इंसान उसके ऊपर चीज छोड़ता जाएगा तो उसे आप लिख तो लेंगे लेकिन आप इसलिए नहीं अच्छे लिख रहे या इंसान अच्छा नहीं लिख रहा क्योंकि वो पढ़ नहीं रहा तो एक वक्त शायद यह आएगा इस साइकिल में जब हम घुस जाएंगे जो मेरा एक नेगेटिव चीज मैं बयान कर रहा हूँ डेवल्स एडवोकेट होने के लिए मैं बिल्कुल गलत भी हो सकता हूँ मेरा पॉइंट ये कि सिर्फ अगर हम अपनी टीचिंग के एस्पेक्ट से देखें कि एक वर्क यह आएगा कि हम पढ़ ही नहीं अभी भी नहीं पढ़ते अगर आप देखें मोबाइल इंसान का अटेंशन स्पेन ही हो गया कि आज से दस पंद्रह साल पहले जब लोग बाहर मुल्क आप भी सर फ्रांस में जब गए होंगे देखो अगर स्टेशन पर लोग खड़े किताब पढ़े होते थे यंग लोग खड़े किताब पढ़ रहे होते आजकल मोबाइल पढ़ रहे होते हैं आजकल मोबाइल पे गाने सुन रहे होते हैं हो सकता है अब ई बुक्स भी सुन रहे हो दैट इज गुड ई बुक्स सुन रहे हो दैट इज इवन बेटर एंड दैट कैन बी अ रिप्लेसमेंट लेकिन अब मैंने देखा बदतरी दुनिया में यहां तो है ही नहीं ट्रेंड किताब पढ़ने का ट्रेंड कम हुआ है और इन टेक्नोलॉजी की वजह से अटेंशन स्पैन ऐसा हो गया हमारा इन टेक्नोलॉजी के आप देखिए आपके व्हाट्सएप मेरे ख्याल से हर कोई इस्तेमाल करता है उसके ऊपर लंबा मैसेज आए ना तो वो लंबा मैसेज पूरे आगे रीड मोर का बटन होता है आप कहीं पढ़ें बहुत से लोग वो रीड मोर भी नहीं प्रेस करते ये हमारा टेंशन स्पैन हो गया किताब तो दूर की बात है तो हम पढ़ नहीं रहे तो जब और इस टेक्नोलॉजी ने वो होता है ना यार मुझे पांच मिनट में बात बयान कर दो क्या लंबी चौड़ी बात करें वाई शुड आई रीड अ बुक गिव मी अ समरी ऑफ दिस बुक और लेट मी वॉच अ यूट्यूब वीडियो जो कि पांच मिनट उस चीज को खत्म कर देगी तो मैं पढ़ नहीं रहा जब आप पढ़ते नहीं आप में ऑब्जॉर्शन नहीं आती सोच में पुख्तगी नहीं आती तो आप अच्छा लिख नहीं पाएंगे अच्छा आप अच्छा नहीं लिख पाएंगे आप चैट जी पीटी कहेंगे लिखो वो बड़ा लंबा लिख देगी वो भी कोई नहीं पढ़ेगा और इस साइकिल में जब हम जाते जाएंगे तो क्या इंसान का जो दिमाग है वो और कमजोर नहीं होता जाएगा ये सर मेरा एक ओपिनियन है बिल्कुल वंडरफुल ओपिनियन थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर उमर तो इन्होंने बहुत अच्छी बात की कि लोग पहले किताबें पढ़ते थे आजकल वो नहीं पढ़ते लेकिन पहले मैं काफी ज्यादा किताबें पढ़ता था आजकल जब मैं वॉक कर रहा होता हूँ समथिंग मैंने रिसेंटली जो खत्म किया श्योरली यू आर जोकिंग मिस्टर फाइनमैन ये रिशेट फाइनमैन की बुक है उसके बाद जेट चैट जी पी टी रिपोर्ट्स ये फ्री पॉडकास्ट है जिसपे जितनी भी कटिंग एज होती हैं वो आ रही होती हैं उसके अलावा जो द इकोनमिस्ट है उसकी पॉडकास्ट सारी अवेलेबल होती हैं दैट यू कैन हैव वाइल यू आर वॉकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ लिसनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल्स आप बहुत ज़्यादा वो हैं बट आई एम लिसनर तो मेरे लिए ये मोबाइल फ़ोन जो है दैट इज रियली helpful tool in telling me lot of information and the most beautiful thing is writings of mark twain those are also freely available on android on smartphones so you can enjoy all those things uh today in the era of digital media uh, that 40 years back you have to get purchase a cassette for listening and it was quite difficult yes इसमें कोई भी मतलब 
को चेक करने के लिए मैंने भी थोड़ी सी क्यूरीज रन की है मैंने कहा लाइक हाउ वॉज द गवर्नेंस ऑफ नवाज शरीफ सो ही सेट दैट नवाज शरीफ वॉज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान हु हैज कम अप विद आइडियाज ऑफ हैविंग बेटर रोड एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑल दैट हाउ एवर देर वर सम करप्शन चार्जेस ऑन दैट सो ही ट्राई टू मेनटेन सॉर्ट ऑफ इम्पार्शल थिंग देन आई सेट हाउ अबाउट इमरान खान सो आई वॉज थिंकिंग that since there are many many users on the internet who are pro imran khan pro pti i'll get a very positive biasness towards pti but uh, to my surprise it was pretty much neutral opinion that uh, khan promised lot of things about education he promised about jobs he promised about this thing and if he is going to follow his promise maybe he could bring a positive change so similar to that so database pe karega na again jo database hai uski pe jo shenela ka hota hai yes but you know like my perception was that there is huge amount of data that is pro pti pro khan and then there is huge amount of data sets which are against the other guy but to my surprise it went quite impartial i think uh, this is there in the dna of uh, this uh, language model that try to be impartial try to give your opinion not the facts biasness se nahi to ek opinion wala wo to data tha aapka hai na biasness again machine hai to biasness se insaan ne isme dal diya hoti hai like google ka example bataya google was a good set de deta tha it is a advanced thing bank this one dictate kar raha hai google ki main aapko biasness batata hu मैं एक चीज पाकिस्तान में बैठ कर सर्च करता हूँ एक चीज मैं अमेरिका में बैठ कर सर्च करता हूँ बिलीव में दोनों से बिल्कुल डिफरेंट आंसर आते हैं बिल्कुल ऐसे ही चीज मैं अमेरिका में बैठ कर एक्चुअली देखना चाहता हूँ वो वहाँ बड़े अच्छे रिजल्ट आते हैं यहाँ वो चीज कहीं छुपी होती है अक्सर मिलती ही नहीं है मुझे Uh, some people paid google that give our websites as the initial results and then it was something which was uh, public and then google kept them on the top but then they add these things sponsored links so if you are looking for something in hurry there are more chances that you will click on the sponsored link which are paying uh, google Yes. Uh, so, uh, can, can I just add one point on this sure. uh, biasness? Uh, actually, uh, there was a paper. I just forgot the title of the paper, but that says that the more you know AI can under CNN ke models hain, jo ke jaise award winning models hain, especially jo face detection ke upar hain. So they perform very poorly, and they they were having numbers uh, uh, again. A paper ke under usne summarize kiya hua tha. जी ये ब्लैक पीपल के ऊपर द परफॉर्मेंस वज इन गुड एज कम्पेयर टू देयर फेस प्रोटेक्शन परफॉर्मेंस ऑन द वाइट पीपल यू नो ना दे केम अप विद द कंक्लूजन के जी क्योंकि जो डेटा सेट यूज हुआ है पीछे जो पब्लिकली अवेलेबल डेटा सेट था वो वाइट पीपल का ज्यादा यूज हुआ है उस एल्गोरिज्म की ट्रेनिंग में दैट वॉज द अवार्ड विनिंग एल्गोरिजम यू नो इन सेटन ईयर आई थिंक ट्वेंटी बट एवर तो क्योंकि वाइट पीपल का डेटा ज्यादा यूज हुआ है तो वो फेस डिटेक्शन एल्गोरिथम है इस काइंड ऑफ यू नो देयर इज एन इनहेरेंट बायस इन द एल्गोरिथम कि ये फेस डिटेक्शन बेहतर करता है फॉर वाइट एज कंपेयर टू द ब्लैक सो आई थिंक इट इज गोइंग टू स्टे एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर गोइंग टू गेट हैव अ बायसनेस इन द डेटा ठीक है ये 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 चैलेंज तो रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम है स्टिल आई डोंट थिंक कि इसका भी कोई सलूशन उस तरह का सेटिस्फैक्ट्री सलूशन निकला है तो दिस इज अस ह्यूमन जिनको वो चीजें फिल्टर आउट कर रही है कि जी हमें एजुकेटेड इनफ होना चाहिए कि जो ओपिनियन हमें इससे मिल रहा है चैट जीपी या कोई भी फोरम है जैसे डॉक्टर मंद ने गूगल की बात की तो ये ये चीजें फिर हमें हमारे ब्रेन को फिल्टर आउट करनी है कि जी इसमें कितनी बायसनेस होगी बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट के वो डेटा सेट हमारा कम यूज हुआ एंड सो ऑन और हमें अपने डिसीजन को रेशनलाइज करना पड़ेगा तो इस इज अ प्रूवन फैक्ट 
फॉर स्पेशली द फेस रिकॉग्निशन जो कि है पब्लिश भी हुआ हुआ है ये काम ट्रू ओके वेरी नाइस एंड इनसाइटफुल कमेंट बाय डॉक्टर शहजाद यस आशीर लेट्स गो लेट्स टेक द टू लास्ट कमेंट्स एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल गिव यू फाइव मिनट्स डेमो ऑफ चैट जीपीटी हाउ टू यूज चैट जीपीटी ओवर हियर so anybody who is uh, who has not used uh, chat gpt in the last 5 minutes i'll be showing that yes let's take two comments uh, starting with ashish thank you professor uh, professor i would like to answer uh, the question asked by dr mozam i guess where uh, she asked that what type of data set has been used or you concluded that you added in that i mean the opinion of the human is always biased toward i mean your political opinion or towards any discrimination so i would like to add that as we know that machine learning models all models have been trained on certain data set as already told by doctor that for example face detection example but the problem is in the language for example i think i personally think that for example for english we have some pre defined rules structure of how to construct one sentence so machine learning can beat human on constructing uh, numerous amount of uh, structures or sentences by using this chat gpt and it has flawless amount of vocabulary uh, database in definitely his parameters so we cannot compete or we cannot say that the chat gpt is trained on certain data set and it can give you a bias opinion so i think that it will give us uh, i mean what type of answer do you want it will give you or it will provide you thanks yes okay uh, thank you so much uh, ashish for very nice uh, comment so uh, basically uh, no matter how we want to tune this tool this is there to help us out okay and uh, this is since a tool we can use we can think of uses okay and uh, okay so thank you all uh that's uh, the end of presentation and uh, uh what to do next that is the thing we have to embrace the change like this is my point how to build on the top of that it can be used for creating misinformation and hate speech as mentioned rightly mentioned by dr shahzad yunus uh now it's up to us how to minimize the damage for such case by spreading the awareness okay so, so for example we did good for spreading the awareness against deep fake by providing the video of fake video of obama uh, it should be uh, taught in depth for the integration of apps in advanced topics in computing and there is dire need of having few ms theses on the top of that so if uh, you people are interested in fips or uh, ms thesis then i have couple of slots available so we had the debate and then uh, we have a project for automated content creation for k12 education if you are interested in paid fip ms thesis drop your cv at swail.ikbal@seeks.edu.pk so that's it for the talk uh, now i am going to show you uh, thank you all for joining now i'm going to give the demo for those people for anyone who want to join okay so first of all i have to just type on the google chat gpt chat gpt gpt okay here we go okay now the first link you get that is the chat gpt model uh hope you people can see this website uh can someone from online viewer can tell me whether this thing is visible ai open yeah, ai website is visible okay okay thank you now try chat gpt now checking if your site connection is secure now i minimize this thing now there are disclaimers okay three things may occasionally generate incorrect information so it will give you the information 
in a very beautiful way. But you may ask, are you drunk? I mean, you have provided the information. May occasionally 